Oh, it's on! Hello guys, welcome to our overclocking tutorial of Fenon 2 945. Well, you can, it can be applied to other Fenon 2 processors, uh, but uh, I'm gonna teach you how to overclock a non-black edition AMD Fenon 2. Well, it's gonna be very basic because some users here have been asking why the hell I have my CPU uh, overclocked to 3.6 GHz. Uh, because uh, my GPU is getting bottlenecking by the CPU in some games so I'm gonna teach you how to minimize that bottlenecking for people that have that graphic card with the basic overclocking but first of all you're gonna need to grab some software free you don't need to crack it and you're gonna have to do some maths <laughs> maths man now don't worry if you have four grades you will be okay. Right on, let's start! Now that the 10 seconds intro have passed, you're gonna need to grab some software. You're gonna need to grab CPU-Z, which is gonna show you the frequency multiplier and front side buzz uh, that you are running. It's not working too well in my computer uh, right now. I guess it's a problem of my motherboard. You need gonna need to grab hardware monitor, which is gonna show the temperature of your CPU. You cannot pass 62 Celsius degrees. It's dangerous in this CPU. You need to grab Prime 95. Be careful with the architecture because 64 bytes or 32 bits. It's gonna take your CPU to the limit and see if it's stable or not. And you need to grab hardware. Uh, oops, Fuhrbark, which is a GPU stress test. Strange, right? Now, this is the CPU-Z. As you can see, the front side buzz it's not showing, and uh, the frequency is kind of strange in there. But the front side buzz, it's uh, 200 in all CPUs of Fenon 2. So, if it's 200, if you have a multiplier CPU, you can just raise your multiplier which is in, in 945 it's uh, 15 and if you want to overclock to for example uh, 3.4 you just needed to raise the multiplier but since 945 is not um, unlocked CPU you need to raise the front side bus to uh, 226 and as you can see that's the way you reach it and now I'm gonna show you how I run my mine at uh, 3.6 I need to put the front side buzz at as you can see 240 so what's the difference between raising the multiplier or raising the front side buzz the difference is when you raise your front side buzz you are raising your memory clock too what is that a memory clock well the memory clock is your RAM so if you're running your RAM at 1,333, something like that. If you are running that RAM at that speed, it means it's, it's going to increase your RAM. And uh, in some time, you are raising so much your CPU frequency, and then it starts to crash, and it starts to not being stable, and you think, what? I just reached... I just reached the limit of this CPU? You are not reached the limit of CPU, you may have reached the limit of your memory RAM. So, what's the solution? So, I'm gonna try to explain how to raise your front side buzz in BIOS and explain how RAM works. So, let's go take a look, right? So, to enter on BIOS, you need to restart the PC and on the start, you need to press a key. In my case, it's Dell. For you, maybe F2 or F3, F4, it's uh, there. So I need to go to Advanced Settings, Jumper 3, and there you go, CPU Overclocking Manual. And there you see, CPU HD Reference. This is the front side buzz that I am been talking about. So I have mine to reach uh, 3.6, I have at uh, 240. But uh, since I want to show you some things, I'm gonna put to 220. So this is the rest of the options, maybe much people don't, uh, don't understand this, but that's the way I want it. So I'm gonna save, ace it, the PC restart and it's okay. 
but uh, many people run into problems with the memory. That's why I have said that. So you need to put the memory clock at lower. This is the default, and this is now a little bit lower. You're gonna be thinking, hey, what the hell? My RAM is at 1033. Well, uh, that's the way it, it's uh, that we say that memory clock it is. Because, for example, as you can see, you multiply it by 2 and you have the true value of the memory. Do you understand? <laughs> so, getting back to the BIOS, you're gonna push it to 240 to front side bus to reach 3.6. But, in many cases, many people run into problems with stability and you need to raise the voltage. Please, don't push your voltage above 1.5. I don't take any responsibility if you burn your CPU. So, what are you seeing running now is Prime95 at the blend test and hardware monitor on the right side, which shows the core temperatures. The objective is not... Uh, is try not to making the temperatures above 62. So, reformulating all that I explained to that was very quickly, I know. So, we need to push, go to the BIOS, so first of all you need to download all the stuff, but you go to the BIOS, you push your front side bus. So, when you push your front side bus, lower your memory clock to the other step, lower, just that. You keep pushing your front side bus, for example, at increments of 10 values or something, restart, test a little bit with Prime95, check the CPU-Z if the, all it's correct, uh, well, the CPU-Z is not running the Prime, we're gonna show some lower frequency because it's cool and quite off AMD, which makes the, the system just uh, use the megahertz that it needs in the, the actual time. So if you enter a game or if you run Prime, it's gonna take your frequency to the max. So, you monitor your temperatures, making sure not to reach 62 degrees, just that it's, if it's stable, during a lot of time uh, running prime, you just restart, push a little bit more your fr uh, front side buzz, if it crashes, well, after that you have two options. You stay with the, the other front side buzz value that was stable, or you push a little bit of voltage. So, voltage you shouldn't run above 1.5. I'm gonna show what voltage do. Voltage will deliver more tension, more energy to your CPU, deliver more power, but have uh, many disadvantages. The temperature will start raising a lot more than expected, and uh, voltage takes uh, a very hit in the lifetime of your processor. So if your processor was supposed to uh, last 10 years, maybe it's just gonna last 7 or 6. This isn't a stupid example, but this is how it works. So I want you to, to take full responsibility of that. So it's just that. Uh, s uh, then you uh, try the Prime 95, uh, see if everything is stable for one hour, with hardware monitor. Uh, it's pretty simple, you know. After that, if you find the sweet spot that you wanted, and if it's stable, try Prime95 plus with the fuel mark. That's the true test. Why? Because we are pushing two components. You are pushing your GPU and your CPU to the max. If your power supply can take it, well, your system is rocking stable. I need to advise you that Prime95 never stops of testing. You need to stop it for yourself. That's why I say one hour. Or something like so that. guys, that's all. I hope I have helped uh, in some things about the overclock. Uh, I hope you have a better performance. Uh, I was expecting to test with some games, but uh, I'm not. I do not have games that I can benchmark in the same script, in the same action that appears. Uh, well, the same sequence, you know, uh, that are more CPU demanding. So that's all I have to say about overclocking, I just ask you to be careful because I do not take any responsibility for your actions, uh, but you, if you follow what I have said in the videos and I keep repeating all the, the things that can be dangerous, the temperature, the voltage, well, you, you will be okay, okay, no, no problem with that. 
uh, any problem. The PC just crash and you just reboot into BS and put the stock value. Don't be afraid of it. Okay. So other things I want to to tell you is that even after all that I said, there are some major things that uh, can limit your overclock. One of them, power supply. So your power supply is very important and uh, if you have uh, uh, a low quality brand like uh, an Alfman, something like that, well the power supplies that usually cost 20 euros, 25 euros, 30 bucks and and says that are rated to 700 wattage well that is just uh, a bad PSU sorry guys but that is true it is rated to 700 wattage you put 200 wattage in it and pff, your PC starts to crash and have problems with stability a storm hits your place and burns all most your equipment well your power supply burns your rest of the components too it's like a bomb and if you have a quality power supply you will be okay you will be okay because uh, uh, I'm not sure if you, many users here haven't noticed for example if you go to an online shop uh, there is there uh, many power supplies that report to have 600 wattage and 700 wattage and to the 420 euros for uh, some brands, strange brands and you find usually at 6 bucks or 60 euros Corsairs, SFX, Antex you always know in the, that's power supplies reports to have something like 450 what do you think about that? you think oh I'm just paying for the brand well it's not that power supplies can achieve even more than they are rated there and the others at 20 euros can even half achieve don't have any protection what I'm trying to say here I'm not trying to sell power supplies of COVID I'm just saying if you have a problem with the overclock after all that I told you crashes and not uh, achieving a good overclocking your power your power your problem may be your power supply and uh, even worse you have an AMD CPU I have an AMD CPU and we both should know that AMD is quite of hungry in power for example my CPU it's 95 watts rated on stock after this overclock to 3.6 with voltage at 1.45 it's the double so power supply have to be enough for it okay it's just to, to make sense if you are a, uh, if your head is blowing trying to know what's happening if you are doing everything right well you are maybe the equipment don't so guys any doubt that you have anything that you want to know if you want to post the results what can you achieve what di you didn't achieve performance boosts that you noticed that you don't noticed well post anything in the comment section below uh, not this guy uh, below the, the details of the YouTube well it's just that okay I would I would love to answer some questions that you have so guys go for it and please don't destroy your PCs do everything with calm very calm take it easy okay bye guys see you later